Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 3, Lesson Number 11, and this is a lesson where we're connecting the area model and the partial products method to the standard algorithm. So we'll be doing that through a couple of different problems tonight. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of those problems. We will look at problem number 1C. That problem asks the following. 593 times 9. And we're going to sort of do this in, well, let's see, I think we're going to do it in at least three different ways. The first way um, we'll do, I think actually we'll do the graphic way first, which is the one over here on the right. We're going to look at 593. And we're going to say, how can we break that down into an area model? Well, we could break that down into, let's see, there's the 500 part, and then there's the 9 tens, or 90, and then there's 3. And all of that is going to be multiplied by 9. And if we did it this way, we would be multiplying each of the partial products here in the area model. So 9 times 500 would be 4,500, literally. 4,500 or 4,500. If we multiplied 9 times the 9 tens, we'd get 81 tens. 81 tens is 810. And finally, if we multiplied 9 times 3 ones, we would get 27 ones. I'm going to, it's going to bleed over here. We're going to get 27 ones over there in the corner. And we can write that below this. They've given us sort of a, a kind of a mathematical sentence frame. We can say that this is the same as 9 times, and then we'd add up the partials, 500 plus 90 plus 3. And if we did it that way, we could distribute our multiplication. We could say this is the same as 9 times 500 plus 9 times 90 plus 9 times 3. So that's using the area model method. Let's try it along the left-hand side here using a kind of uh, the standard algorithm uh, and the partial products method. So let's do the partial products method first. So that's going to be, I'll do this in a different color. That'll be 593 times 9. If we did this as partial products, we would just look at each of these in turn. 9 times 3 ones would be 27 ones, which we would write like that. And let's do another one. Let's do 9 times 9 tens. Well, that would be 881 tens, like that. And then finally, if we did 9 times 500, that would be 4500, like that. And we would add our partial products together. 7 plus 0 plus 0 is 7. 2 plus 1 is 3. 8 plus 5 is 13, 3, or 1 in the thousands, and then 1 plus 4 in the thousands is 5,337. And let's do that. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and do the standard algorithm as well. We'll do it sort of right next to it, and I guess I'll do that in yet another uh, color. I'll do that in black. Okay? So that would be 593 times 9. And this time we'll do the standard algorithm. So 3 times 9, or I'm sorry, 9 times 3 is 27, so the 7 goes here and the 20 goes up there, the two tens. 9 times 9 is 81 tens, plus the two more tens that we have, so that's 3, and the 8 goes up here. And then 9 times 5 is 4,500, plus 8 more hundred is 5,300. And so we have, actually, in all parts of, in every single one of our pieces, we will end up with the same answer. We will have 5,337 here. We'll have 5,337 here, and though we did we set up the problem as an area model here, uh, we if we added up 4,500 plus 810 plus 27, those are, you'll notice, exactly the same as the partial products that we had here, 4,500, 810, and 27. If we added those three things together in our area model, we would get 5,337. So that's three different ways of doing this problem. Whew! Okay, let's move on to problem number five. And this one says we can use the standard algorithm, the area model, the distributive property, or the partial products method to, to solve this problem. I'm going to choose the partial products method because I uh, think it's the, it's the middle one in terms of the difficulty. Um, the area model is one visual way of doing it. Obviously, the standard algorithm is the, most, uh, the, the fastest way of doing it, but some, maybe the most difficult uh, sort of uh, intellectually. So I'm going to try the one that's kind of in between, which is the partial products method. So let's go ahead and draw that out. 7 times as many as 3,073. So 3,073 times 7. So 
partial products method. Let's see. So, let's start off. 7 times 3 ones is 21 ones. Then, 7, oops, sorry, 7 times 7 tens, that'll be 49 tens. So far, so good. Let's see, 7 times 0 hundreds is 0, oops, is 0 hundreds. No problem there. We could just omit that line if we wanted to, to try that out, but I'll leave it there for our purposes. And then finally, 7 times 3 thousands would be 21 thousands. So, 22 in the in the tens, ten thousands column, 1 in the thousands column, and everything else. And then we will add together our partial products. We take 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 9 is, one, is 11, so that's 1 here. And one more in the hundreds column. 1 plus 4 is 500. 1,000 and 2 ten thousands. And we have our answer. 21,511 using the partial products method. And of course, for these problems here at the end, I think it's 4, 5, and 6, you could have used any one of these, model, these versions. The standard algorithm, the area model, the distributive property, or the partial products method. Any one of those is fine. Thank you for joining me. This has been another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Take care, and I'll see you next time.